we had a three-day induction course in, in Canberra where they did introduce us to PPE. They did, we talked about the emotional challenges ahead. That was useful, though it was very brief. But what it did tell us, and what I really value in that, is it told us what we didn't know. It really told us that, you know, these are the gaps that you're going with and this is what you need to fill. When we arrived with the, uh, with the initial team, we were fortunate enough to go and train with MSF in one of their centres. And that training was invaluable. But I must admit that when we started, I think everybody was anxious, you know, are we ready? Are we really, um, are we really can we really cope? And I can say in retrospect, that um, we have just come such a long way that we were ready, that we couldn't have done really much more than, than we could at the time. But we've come such a long way in that, in, uh, in learning uh, about Ebola, in gaining experience on, on, on Ebola, and, uh, and just being well supported by Aspen. So that has been a wonderful process. And slowly, slowly, we've just gained experience and gained uh, confidence so that we are now treating uh, the Ebola far more aggressively. The greatest thing that we've seen is our national staff, when uh, they have just blossomed. When we opened, that people would hardly touch the patients, they were so scared. They, they have just been like sponges to gain their, their knowledge and the experience. And they are now just so capable and so competent that um, uh, we're, that allows us to do far more with our patients. And, uh, and that's been one of the great joys of, of being here.